Welcome to HK3 News. I am your host for today's interview. My name is Mark Kreitzman. Today's interview is part of our startup series, and we don't have a startup company on today. We actually have an established business, but they support startups. And on with us today is Vincent Serpico, the CEO, founder of Serpico Dev. Hello, Serpico. How are you? Good. How are you doing today, Mark? All right, great. Great to have you on. And uh, let's start the interview out with learning about you specifically. So tell us about your background and how you be, how you uh, got to the point where you found a Serpico Dev, and then after that we can get into the actual business. Okay. All right. Thanks. So um, about me, um, I've been involved in the Phoenix tech community for over 20 years now. I've actually worked as a developer for a number of years, uh, and then worked as a VP of Dev and then a CTO. Um, after that, I founded Serpico Dev a little over 10 years ago. Um, while Working Serpico Dev, I also spun out two other companies, um, raised money for one of them, self-funded another one of them, and I also actively angel invest. Um, everything is about tech startups. Uh, I have tech startups in my blood. I invest in tech startups. My other two companies were tech startups, and Serpico Dev provides software development services for founders of tech startups. So tech startups is in my blood, and I love founders. All right. Awesome. Well, that's certainly an incredible background and perfect for what you're doing. Um, so why don't we learn about Serpico Dev? So what services do you provide and what value to provide to these startups? Sure. So we provide a wider range of services. Uh, we do mobile apps. We do web apps. We do machine learning and AI. Uh, machine learning like predictive analytics and recommendation engines. AI like facial recognition and Alexa apps. Alexa apps are becoming huge. Um, our real niche is the fact that we only work with startups. So we don't work with governments. We don't work at enterprise, not even mid-markets. We don't work with nonprofits. We work with startups, entrepreneurs, and sometimes small businesses. Our focus is the entrepreneur and the founder of a startup. All right, great. So if there's a, 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 an entrepreneur or somebody who's founding a startup, they've got an idea. It's either on the back of a napkin or they've got a mobile app that's mostly done. At what point should they get involved with you? So... I've worked with lots of founders who come to me with just an idea. And what we do is we help get that idea out of their head onto paper. And when I say onto paper, I'm talking about going through the entire process of planning out a project, which includes flow diagrams, it includes wireframes, it includes mockups, it includes creating a project plan. Um, anybody can read about that more in my book, Ready to Launch. Ready to Launch is on Amazon, and it goes through the entire process of getting an idea out of your head and into the, into, the, uh, into the app store. Um, we also do several workshops called Tech Startups for Non-Tech Founders, where we teach non-tech founders how to take your idea and create a tech company. You'd be surprised how many tech startups there are out there founded by non-tech founders. So if you're a non-tech founder, all I can say is you can do it, absolutely. All right, awesome. And so how does somebody get a hold of you? What's the best place for them to find information and make inquiries about Serpico Dev? Yeah, absolutely. The best place to, uh, to learn about us is on SerpicoDev.com. It's our website. There's a little more information about us there, including um, case studies, client testimonials, uh, clients we've worked with, and there's a contact form there. Awesome. Okay. Now, before we let you go, there's one other topic I wanted to ask you about, and that is... Um, something you had brought it to me in the past, which is the AZ Founders Guild, if I pronounced that correctly. Can you first confirm that's correct? And then tell us about that organization. Yeah, that, that is absolutely correct, Mark. And the AZ Founders Guild is a guild that I started uh, several months ago. And the idea behind the guild is to bring founders together once a month on a Saturday from 8 a.m. to noon. And the group is open to founders or soon to be founders. If you plan on being a founder in three to six months. And the premise behind it is that no matter how experienced you are, you always have something to learn. And no matter how inexperienced you are, you always have something to teach. So every 30 minutes, somebody will mentor somebody else. So Mark, next time you come, you'll mentor somebody. Then somebody will mentor you. You'll mentor somebody. Somebody will mentor you. We just had our last event on uh, Saturday. And I learned so much and I mentored people. And in fact, it was so successful. We're going to be having a second branch in Surprise and another co-working space uh, uh, carry the torch to Surprise. Great. Even though I've got a Silicon Valley background and I've played in the startup game myself in the tech industry, I've got a lot to learn. So I look forward to attending that event. Um, now, somebody can certainly 
uh, Google AZ Founders Guild, but what is the uh, URL, if you could? It's azfoundersguild.us, azfoundersguild.us. All right, great. Vincent, I really appreciate you coming on, telling us about your company, about the uh, AZ Founders Guild. I wish you the best of success for 2019, and I look forward to seeing you at uh, the next Founders Guild. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, and likewise. Thank you.